Let's talk about forgiveness because I'm currently on my own journey towards forgiving those who I believe have personally wronged me and I'm somebody that has experienced a lot of anger over the past year or so and up until this point in my life I didn't really understand what forgiveness was. That sounds completely pretentious and completely stupid but I hope when I try to explain this journey that that will make more sense. It's kind of easy to think about forgiveness as two children on a playground who were fighting and a teacher breaks them up and says, right, you're both gonna sit down and you're gonna say sorry to each other. And these two kids begrudgingly say sorry, not looking at each other, just saying, I'm sorry, they don't mean it. That's not forgiveness. The only reason that these children don't continue to fight is the threat of being punished by their teachers for doing so. And often if the word sorry isn't said or if it isn't meant, the only thing that really cools down a situation is time. You're gonna have to forgive my cat playing with her toys now. Why now? I forgive you, I forgive you, I forgive you, I forgive you. What I feel I have learned about forgiveness is that forgiveness is not about the other person's feelings whatsoever. Forgiveness is completely and utterly just about you. And forgiveness is completely necessary in order to achieve actual true happiness. Wow, how do I sound right now? I sound like I should be holding hands with everyone around a lake. And dress like it too. How and when you choose to forgive someone depends completely on how much someone hurt you, how they made you feel, and how you feel the anger that you have towards them is serving you. Despite what people try to tell us when we're young, forgiveness is not about going around to your worst enemy's house and offering to shake their hand and giving them a card saying, I wish you the best, I want to be friends with you. Absolutely not. If someone has been extremely damaging towards you and you feel as though them re-entering your life will cause you more harm, cut them out of your life. You can still forgive someone whilst cutting them out of your life. This is something that I had to do a lot of times last year. It kind of got to a point last year in my personal life where I felt like every single corner that I turned, there was somebody that I considered a friend stabbing me in the back. And there was a point where I felt so wronged by some people that I was completely consumed by anger. I never used to understand the phrase blinded by rage, but last year I definitely learned that it makes a lot of sense. I became so obsessed and consumed by the anger I felt from this person just being mentioned by anybody that I began to derive happiness from their misfortune. Six months ago, if you told me that a certain person was going to go through a breakup and have to have therapy, I would have laughed and said, good, I hope they suffer. I hope they have a really shit life. I hope they feel just an ounce of how horrible they made me feel. All I cared about was that person feeling the anger and upset that I'd felt. And suddenly their unhappiness became my happiness. Or at least I thought, I thought it became my happiness. In truth, here comes spiritual Emma, didn't make me feel happy at all. Because now, over time, as I've begun to heal, as the memories that I'm currently making have begun to overwrite those bad memories I have, comparing the happiness that I feel now compared to the happiness that I was deriving from other people's misfortune, it's on a completely different plane. Now, I don't know what you've been through. Um, there will be people watching this video who have been abused. Uh, people being betrayed in far worse ways than I was. And some of you will be saying, well, yeah, that's all well and good for you, Emma, but some things I just, I just can't forgive. To me, as someone that is not a therapist, that simply says to me that you're just not at the stage where you are ready to move on from that experience. Because again, I don't know what you've been through. There may never be a time. I, I know that sucks, but there are some things in the world that will take a lifetime to overcome. But there will be a time where you feel as though you've been dealt an injustice and you'll be able to ask yourself, what is this anger doing for me? This anger that I hold towards someone is it making me happy? Does it make me look and feel like a better person? Is it helping me move on from a situation? Because if you walk into a room and your worst enemy is in that room and you still feel anger, that's not moving on and it's not healthy. And reminder that you can still think someone is a complete piece of shit and forgive them at the same time. Because forgiveness is not about the other person's feelings. It's about 
you. Forgiveness is not about going up to that person in that room and saying, I forgive you. Because once you are able to accept to yourself that the anger you've harbored towards this person, no matter what they've done, is doing nothing for you, then you are ready, or at least you are beginning to feel ready to move on and forgive that person. Forgiveness does not mean making up with someone. Forgiveness can mean get the fuck out of my life, I'm just not thinking about you anymore. You can cut someone out of your life and still forgive them. Forgiveness does not have to mean wishing the best for someone. It can mean that. That's great. That's more than forgiveness. If you're able to look at someone who has treated you so badly and say, I hope that you find happiness, that's incredible. But forgiveness at its very simplest, is no longer wishing ill will upon someone. It doesn't mean you have to wish goodwill. It doesn't mean you have to hope they find the love of their lives. It just means you don't wish bad things upon someone. Because as you once again begin to feel that happiness that was taken from you, you remember how true happiness feels, you're able to compare that happiness to the happiness that you derive from someone else feeling really bad, and you're able to recognize that your anger that you have towards someone does nothing. It's not your anger that reminds you to keep away from someone. It's not the wall building that you do after a betrayal that makes you a stronger person. What makes you a stronger person is being able to say, you did me wrong. You really, really did me wrong but I'm just not angry at you now because it doesn't serve me. You do not have to go up to anybody that's hurt you and say, I forgive you. You don't even have to say to yourself, I forgive them, but just know that once that anger has subsided and that need for revenge that you initially have that might last a day, a week, a month, once that has gone, you've started to forgive them for yourself. And if you still feel like that person is a piece of shit, that person's still a piece of shit. If you still don't trust them and you still don't want them anywhere near you, you don't have to put them near you again. You are simply once again able to find the happiness that you did before that person hurt you. And you can use it to make new friends and new memories and no longer feel obsessed, consumed, and blinded by rage. I guess some of this could sound really preachy, but really I'm preaching to myself as a reminder that anger will subside because you'll grow tired of being angry all of the time. It doesn't benefit you. It doesn't do anything good for you. And life is short and we need to be good to ourselves. I need to be good to myself. So to the pieces of shit that made me feel awful last year, fuck you, but I forgive you. And I hope that whatever negative feelings led you to want to upset me so much, I hope they go and I truly hope you find the happiness that I have once again been able to find. Also fuck you, but you know.